Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to talk about fact versus fit. See, I want to tell you a story. Uh, why this this whole thing concept about fat and fit is is such an uh, extraordinary uh, thing for me. We had a um, we were a couple of friends, you know, in college, and one of my friends. Um, She's not really my direct friend, but she was my friend's friend. And she'd hang out with us. Um, we were all doing a course and she's doing a different course, and but she would still hang out with us. She was thin. I mean, she was extraordinarily thin. I've seen thin people, but she was like bony to the core, right? But she would eat like mountains. And then I have another friend or even me, we both are in the same category, right? We just smell food, we put on weight. There is absolutely no need for us to eat a lot. We just eat like a very little thing and we look very healthy, very nourished, right? We used to struggle with this. We were like, oh, I love that taste, but you know, I I eat so much that I don't know. I, I exercise, I'm not able to lose weight. So why, what is happening to me, right? See, body size is not the gauge for health. Later on, I discovered um, this thin friend of ours had actually um, developed a heart disease. And she continued to be thin throughout her life, right? Uh, people usually think in different cultures, there's a different perception of what is a good uh, fat. Uh, fat people are not fit and thin people are fit. Right? There's a different perception throughout the world. I've lived in three countries and I've traveled in many countries. Everywhere, people remark on, oh, you look fat and fit. No, thin people can be fit, right? It is not the body size. It is what our organs need at the time they need. For example, if you are eating, let's say you love eating pizza and you want pizza for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, no problem if you're young. If you are maintaining a very active lifestyle and if you're gluten tolerant, if you can handle lactose, great. Let's say as you age, you start doing less activity. You cannot continue eating so much pizza anymore. Right, So the Satvik method actually teaches you to make these right choices, the right food choices that you can maintain all through your life. You will never get bored of these choices and you won't say that, you know, hey, when I was young, I used to eat like this. Now I'm older, I want to eat like this. No, you can continue to eat these foods if you are following the Satvik method. In the Satvik method, it's an ageless method. It Make sure that you are fit inside out. So no matter which culture you belong to, no matter what your body size image is, you can set those goals for yourself. But understand Satvik method is a steady, full foolproof method because it teaches you to nourish your consciousness, which is much more deeper and much more significant, much more lasting and impactful than your external measures like body weight and or let's say oh I, I want to be thin to wear that dress or whatever you want to do your goals you can meet it through the Satvik method I welcome you all to try the 21 day Satvik diet challenge that's coming up in March April please sign up share subscribe comment ask questions I'm happy to answer every one of it just know that fat versus fit is a myth you can be fit even when you are fat and this is rania here for the sattvic method company talk to you soon bye